Hello pretties, are you ready to discover the magic of the Pretty Actions Cloud Applicator Actions? Well, if you are, go ahead and sit back. We're going to show you how to quickly and easily apply cloud and sky overlays to your images in just seconds. Okay, so we're using the Pretty Actions Cloud Applicator um, Actions. It's this little mini collection that just make uh, cloud overlays a dream. We'll be using the Blown Out Sky Magic Replace for this image. Now, uh, a blown out sky is more of like a white, maybe light gray, light blue sky, not very vivid, and overcast sky maybe has a little bit more color, okay? We've also got the Dreamy Color Booster Water Reflection Applicator and a super fun Paint a Pretty Sky action where you can paint on the pastel pinks and blues and purples and just make that really nice whimsical sky. But again, we'll be using the Blown Out Sky Magic Replace and press play. We'll read our handy dandy instructions. I'm gonna press continue. And you can navigate to where you have your cloud overlays saved on your computer. Okay, mine is right here. I'm going to press place and bam, check that out. Already it's magically applied to our sky. We'll just have to make a few um, simple adjustments here in a moment. And I can click and resize that. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, uh, you'll want to press shift uh, while you're resizing. Press and hold shift. So I really like that. I'm just going to press enter to place my sky. Voila, this is super cool, isn't it guys? Um, okay, so if you look at your sky, you'll notice that um, there's a little bit of a white edge around this building uh, over here on the left, okay? So we've left off our black perfect sky layer right here is already selected. So this is the one where we'll kind of paint back on any white lines that may have shown. Um, during the application process. My brush is already selected through the action, okay? And it says black, so we'll be painting with a black brush, okay? So very, very simple. I'm just gonna resize that using my left bracket key and just, um, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit here. And I'm just gonna paint along the edges of uh, this building where the white line is. You don't have to be super, super careful. This is really taking me no time at all. I'm just going to zoom through this here. Okay, so we're just going to go back here and I'm going to lower the brush opacity and kind of dab uh, my brush around any soft spots between this bush here in the back. Okay, and then I'm going to go around the girl's hair and just make sure uh, we clean up that area. There we go. I love it. Okay, and over here by the mountains and the grass, everything's looking really good. Now, of course, we want to be able to easily customize our sky too, right guys? So we placed it. It's magically appeared on the sky and not the subject. How cool is that? Um, we want to check one more thing just for um, making sure all the details look good. This is the right white recover details here on the top. Okay, so we've got our black perfect sky and white recover details. Um, notice if I click on my sky down here at the bottom on my little eyeball and turn it on and off, some of the sky is applied to this little gravel um, walkway because it is a lighter color, right? So it applied to that too. So if you have any other light colors in your image, your sky will apply to it. Just click on this layer mask since it says white. We're going to bring white to the foreground color and my brush is at 100%. I'm just gonna brush that off. No need to be um, super picky, it's literally gone. We're good. Okay, so let's take a look at um, the super fun part, which is all of the add-ons. So we have Blur Your Sky. Since the, the background of my image um, behind the subject here, it's, it's definitely blurry. So we'll want to blur out the sky, okay? And that's just the depth of field. It's the image was taken to be um, blurry in the background, so. Um, I'm just going to bring that up a little bit and you can, you know, just kind of play with the opacity here and 
I think I'm going to leave that right around 49. So we also have the sky fade, and I can turn that on and off. And if it's not giving you enough of a fade on the bottom, click on that layer mask. Click on your gradient tool here in your tools panel. Okay, and set white as the foreground. I'm just going to click at the bottom and drag up. And notice how that gave me a little bit more of a fade. And you might want to, you might try that a few times until you get the perfect fade. Um, and I can take the opacity, of course, and play with that as well. Just go back down and up. And I'm really liking that right around 50%. We have hazy sky. And again, you can click on each one and adjust the opacity as desired. Lighter, darker, warmer, cooler, add contrast and saturation, guys. It's all there. And in case you haven't noticed, which I know, of course, you have, um, I'm going to point out that all of these automatically only apply to your sky. How cool is that? It's not making any changes to the subject, just the sky that was applied to your image. Now, if you're using Photoshop Elements, I know what you're thinking. That's all great, but I have Elements, and this specific action does not work with my Elements version of Photoshop. Do not worry. You'll be able to use our Cloud Applicator instead of the Blown Out Sky Replace or the Overcast Sky Magic Replace. So let me just click on all of these layers, and I'm going to drag them in the trash here. Okay, and we're going to click on Cloud Applicator. The process is very much the same, and you still get all of the extras. Um, and I'm going to show you how that works here. So Cloud Applicator, we're going to press play, read our handy-dandy instructions, and press continue. We're going to use that same sky here. Okay, so for the time being, we don't really get to see our subject, but that's fine. You'll be able to watch the magic happen here in just a moment, and I can always move my sky uh, later as well. And I'm going to press enter. Okay, so my sky has disappeared temporarily. We're, our layer mask is already selected, so I can just paint my sky onto the image. Normally when you do that, it's very obtrusive to your image, and it's a lot of like back and forth and kind of you know, take a little here, add a little over there. If you've ever applied a sky overlay, you know exactly what I mean. Okay, let me show you how this one works because it's super, super fun and easy. I have my brush selected through the action. White is already the foreground color. I'm ready to go, guys. So let's go ahead and just paint this on. Look how nice that is. That's awesome. Now, when I get closer to the ground or my subject, you'll just... You'll definitely want to be a little careful, but notice what happens when I get it on. It just kind of makes it a little um, a little darker, but that's okay. You bring black to the foreground color and you just take that off. There's no need to get super close because it's not very obtrusive with completely erasing your background. So um, this is very, very easy and takes a lot of the tedious work out. So you can just go around all those edges super, super quick, easy. Um, and fun to do. It definitely takes hours out of like super um, fine selection. So you would just go through there and um, do it that way. And I'm just going to stop right there, guys, so I don't bore you to death. But of course, you still have the blur sky and the sky fade and all of the extra add-ons. It's all there for you guys. And it's super, super easy. I'm so glad that we could create this amazing set for you guys just to make your job easier and apply beautiful, beautiful skies. Thanks so much for joining us for this super fun tutorial, and we hope that you love this collection just as much as we do.